In this journey, you will come across very interesting part of mathematics and that is to start dividing by zero. Along with few simplest, mind-blowing equations and possibilities that we have never thought of. And this is all possible due to newly discovered number system named as Universal Number System. And this is way bigger than real number or complex number system. The first half of this journey will be to understand universal number system and thereafter use this system to solve most common and frequently occurring problem over the internet posted by top universities and mathematical YouTube channels. And why this number system can do that? Just take any two natural numbers and try to divide one with another and you will get an exact answer for every such operation. But what if I say you and I are living in very old civilization in BC and real numbers is not discovered yet except natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. In other words, you will be given a quest that has to be solved without using the concept of real numbers. So the quest is take any two natural numbers and divide one number with another. For example, 12 by 6 is equal to 2. No problem at all. But what if these numbers are 13 by 6, 14 by 6, 15 by 6? Since we don't know the real numbers, some may say the answer is 2, some may say it's 3, some will say both are wrong, some may say in such condition both are right, and some may say such operations are undefined. And if we think little bit more, there are uncountable, undefined such situations that will occur just using only the natural numbers. And same thing is happening with 0 too. As we know, that previous problem can be accurately handled using real numbers. Same way, zero division problem can be accurately handled using universal numbers. On the other side, the way real number has many other applications that other number system cannot handle it and so it is widely used. Same way, universal number system can do the things that any other existing number system cannot do it. This can solve indeterminate forms with unique values. Get the accurate values of negative factorials, even though value of negative factorials are infinitely large. Better understanding of exponential number line with universal number E. Dealing with entire calculus even more accurately compared to existing principle of calculus. And there are a lot more. But for now, we will see what drives this number system. The heart of the universal number system, which is simplest and finest equation in mathematics and this is named as zero's unity identity. You may wonder though this is just a normal mathematical problem but at foundation level of mathematics where numbers are about to take birth it can be said zero serves as the parent of all numbers but in the perspective of addition and subtraction operators. And if we change that perspective to multiplication and division operator, one serves the parent of all the numbers. And this equation is the relation between two numbers that serves as parent of all the numbers in our entire number system. Now, another interesting observation is, while infinity takes birth, Negative infinity also takes birth in addition subtraction system to maintain balance in mathematics. But in multiplication division system, when infinity takes birth, the counter entity takes birth to maintain balance in system is zero. Interestingly, though zero may be easily neglected in addition subtraction system, but it is very very heavy number in multiplication division system. So much heavy that it can neutralize positive or negative billions, trillions or quadrillion units just like a tiny air particle. In short, zero counts and mathematically it is expressed as n0 is equal to n1 minus 1 is equal to n minus n named as universal rule of equation. It has this name as this equation indicate few great things in mathematics such as this equation forms the backbone of every subtraction operation. This means every subtraction operation will be in the form of this equation. It also indicates that numbers can be represented by 0 and 1 only, where 
and denotes how many times 0 and 1 is being repeated. So this equation depicts only 1 minus 1 is 0 and rest 2 minus 2 and 3 minus 3 will represent different points on universal number line. Mathematically, same points can be represented by different ways also. Now, we have basic understanding of universal number system. We can get into the problem to solve them. This conclusion was seen on Europe by Tarer where it has been concluded 1 by 0 cannot be infinity, rather it is undefined as at that time only real numbers were known and not the universal numbers. So the problem goes this way. But here is the catch. In few cases, the most useless things plays the most important role. And the error according to universal numbers starts from here. In universal number system, every zero counts. So here, zero plus zero counts as two zero that represent different point on universal number line. So following the same procedure as previous problem in exact same order with one little change, we get this result. And this is totally valid. Coming to next problem, this was seen at many places over the internet, including the online articles in MIT at the Space Archive, in the website of University of Toronto, and many. And drawn conclusion was, division by zero is undefined, because the universal number system was unknown at that time, and they were playing in real number domain considering it is the highest domain. So the problem goes this way. Here, after second last step, the equation is divided by zero that creates instability in equation. But in universal number system, dividing by zero should not create any problem. So as per universal number system, problem starts from this step. We will repeat all the steps in same order, but will add it if something is ignored and will be illustrated blue in color. Negative 2ab can be written in this form and it can be rearranged in this way. And this part is ignored because it is in the form of zero and zero plays no value in real numbers. But we won't ignore this. So we will repeat all the same steps of new problem and proceed. This can be written as a square, as a is equal to b and b is substituted by a. So here we have it 2 is equal to 2. The next problem was little bit innovative, seen on this platform. Here, 20 minus 20 is equal to 0 and 45 minus 45 is also 0. So they equated and they ended up proving 4 is equal to 9. Real number system is not accurately aware of what is 0. So 0 is equal to 0 is an invalid operation. But in universal number system, it is valid operation as far as magnitude of 0 are equal on both sides. And note that 
here magnitude of 0 are incorrect as 20 is not equal to 45 and this would have been correct only if this term was present. So far we have listed the errors that are officially recognized. But now we will move to the part where errors are officially not recognized. But those account for errors in universal number system. In one of the YouTube video they ended up with strange result due to use of this formula and then dividing by zero. This is correct formula as far as real number is concerned. But in universal number system, this accuracy is not enough. We don't ignore any zero, so this formula is this. And correct results were obtained in that problem by using this formula. Now the next insight is on calculus. The first part is derivative formula. And this is an example how differential formulas are derived. All the derivative formulas are derived using the first principle directly or indirectly. And the problem with most of the calculus formulas are all the zero terms are ignored while deriving those formulas. Which is not problem at all unless we use those formulas while dividing by zero. And next part is factorization. As factorization is common thing that is been done when denominator turns out to be in zero form. For example, solving this problem gives you a solution to be 6. But using universal number system, it gives you 3. And this is because in second step, RHS side, 3x minus 3x has been added, which accounts for additional magnitude in the numerator. Using Lobdell's rules also gives the output as 6 in usual case. But if we redirect the calculus formula again while keeping the zero terms alive in the formula, the answer turns out to be 3. So when friendly clash happens between zeros, every zero in numerator and every zero in denominator counts and they create very significant impact in the output. And one more thing that has to be well taken care is Bodmas rule. So much precise that in some cases, all the addition must be done first before any value goes under any subtraction. Now, coming to some interesting facts that you may encounter, you will either say, this is mind blowing or this is hard to believe this. You should give a shot to guess the answers. These are correct answers, it's just that rules at universal level are more precise without negligence of zeros that gives more precise answer. For example, if you raise 1 to the power infinity, you will get 1 and if you raise 1 plus 0 to the power infinity, you will get 2.7 da da da. The universal number line covers much more than real numbers and this number line shows value for n minus n and the black line depicts the range of real numbers but real number range is even more small all near to 1 as 0 by 2 is also considered as 0 in real number line and similarly for infinity and other related magnitudes too in real number line x minus x is 0 and in universal number line only 1 minus 1 is 0 x minus x is x 0 where various values of x represents various points on universal number line. You may think 0 is acting like a variable, but it has a particular real number value and that is... And this can be used to solve any equation. Except equations that are form of x to the power 0 divided by 0. As there are two answers, but both answers turn to be same when base is parent number that is 0 or 1. But for other numbers, there are two answers based on two approaches. One is simple, that is, x to the power 0 is x by x. And in another approach, due to some basic rules, the power has to be solved before the base. And in this condition, there exists no basic level method to solve the roots, like phi root 2. So, 0 also comes in similar category, where higher level methods are used to solve the imperfect roots which will be not covered here but for a tip calculator can be used where all zeros are replaced by negligible magnitudes such as based on how much accuracy is required and while doing this operation 
zero must be replaced with same exact digit everywhere in the equation and also replace n minus n forms example 12 minus 12 and such operations like this and coming to last part of this journey you can ignore lower dimension numbers for very simplicity reason in this order but for the conclusion purpose which is valid only for the particular problem and that conclusion value should not be used in any other problems or as a formula with this this journey ends here i hope you found something great from this video and if you enjoyed hit like and if you found this video exceptional hit like and express your views in the comments below thank you